I'm RJ Nestor, productivity coach and Tana ambassador. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the command line in Tana, which you access on a Mac by pressing Command K or on Windows by pressing Control K. When you get in there, you're going to see there are many, 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 many built in commands in Tana. So I'll hit Command K here. And you can see find nodes and over here on the right you see a little arrow and that little arrow indicates that there's more context so if you choose find nodes you're going to get more stuff when you get there um, so let's hit command k again here to bring that back up add tags you can add tags this way if you don't want to do it just by typing the hashtag move to and move and leave reference to we'll come back to those in a moment view as table show view options close this panel and you just keep scrolling and there's commands and commands and commands and commands and commands and there's some more commands and then occasionally you'll see a few commands and then there are some commands now you may think my goodness how in the world am i going to get through all of these commands and make any sense of them well the good news is if you just start typing the command you're looking for like if i want to type the word move it'll narrow things down uh, right away so when you're using the command k command line or control K on Windows. Uh, get used to typing the first part of the command uh, that you want to access because that will make it way, way easier. Uh, in another video when I was talking about live searches, one of the things I like to do is type the title of a search before I've even turned that node into a search node. Once I go to do that, I start typing search and convert to search node is one of my options and I choose it from there. Uh, it is possible, by the way, to create custom keyboard shortcuts for uh, the built-in commands. I'm not going to worry about that in this video, but if there's something you use often enough uh, that saving, you know, two or three seconds makes it worthwhile. And, and by the by, as a productivity coach, that, that, that exists. If you use a command like a hundred times a day, saving two to three seconds is saving five minutes. You do that five times a week. You're saving 25 minutes a week. You're saving, you know, at that point, like 25 hours a year. <laughs> so don't uh, don't miss out on those little kind of opportunities. But that's not the outside the scope of this video. Uh, so this is how the command K works um, there. Uh, you will find uh, that search is context sensitive, meaning if there are certain like, for an instance, one I'll show you here in a moment is called bring referenced node here. That's only going to show up as an option if I'm in a reference node right now you can see you may remember back in my node video this is not a reference there's no dotted line here this is an original node if i were to come in here and start looking for bring reference node here by typing bring you'll see it isn't here so they are context sensitive only commands that are relevant to your current situation situation will be available by and large so that's that's the fundamentals of the command line let me show you a couple that i use with regularity move to and move and leave reference to are i would say the two commands that i use the most and I don't, I, honestly i don't use them a ton i uh, i will i will tell you that the more you get comfortable with tana and kind of build out the structure of the system you need for your knowledge management or your task management or whatever that may be the more you have that structure in place the less you have to rely on the command line but that doesn't mean it isn't valuable. It's a, it's very, very valuable. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that more in, in a little later in the video here. Uh, but one I do use f with fair frequency is these ideas of moving nodes around. So they move a node, either both of these commands, move a node um, to a workspace and within that workspace location of your choosing. So move to will move the node and then it will disappear from where you are. So it's just straight up, it moves it somewhere else to the place you choose, but it doesn't stay here. Move and leave reference to moves the node to the other place, but also then leaves a reference to that place where you currently are. So move sends it away, nothing left here. Move and leave reference sends it away, but leaves a reference where you currently are. So within your, uh, within your workspace, you'll see a few pre-configured move targets. I mentioned you move a node to the workspace and location of your choosing. Um, those, those locations are today, created date, home, library, or if you're in your primary workspace, inbox. So let's talk about what those are. So today means it'll move it to the, the current day node, whatever day today is, that's where it's going to move it. So, you know, a command, let's say move to, and you can see first I have to choose my workspace. 
So this is, I have a ton of workspaces because uh, I'm doing a ton of different things with a ton of different people and I have to, you know, share in different ways. And when you create these templates, you wind up having some for creating templates and some for testing templates and some for sharing people, uh, things with people. So anyway, uh, this current workspace is not my primary workspace. So the only ones I see are today, home, library, and create a date. To, if I click today for this, I'm not going to do it right this second. I'll demo in a second. That would move this node I'm currently on to today, but it would leave no reference here. Um, so the created date is the same as today, except instead of moving it to today's node, it will move it to whatever day that node was created on. So if I created a node, uh, this is metadata that lives in the background of all Tana nodes. You don't normally see it. But if I created a node on March 16th of this year, uh, and I'm looking at it right now, and I want to move it uh, to the day it was created, it would then show up on the day node, March 16th, 2023. So that, that's how created date works. Home is going to move it to the top level of your workspace. So when you click on this, the name of a workspace, the place you arrive is home. So essentially, if you open a workspace in the sidebar, you uh, expand a workspace, you can see the, the things that are in it. That first level of things, those are the things that are on the home page of the workspace. You'd be sending it essentially to where you could access it directly in the left sidebar without even having to do a bunch of expanding. You just expand the workspace and it would be there. I don't, for myself, put a lot of things in home. That's not a space that I use with much regularity. My system has me primarily generating day-to-day, -day, and so I'm using the day pages for the most part. Uh, but it's certainly uh, there are occasionally things where I might create a search that isn't necessarily tied to a particular day, I might put that in home or I might put some link to it in home. So it's there's some uh, merit or some reasons why you might want to do that. Library is a specialized area. I'm not going to go into the library uh, at, at the moment here in, in detail, but library is essentially a space that is within your workspace but outside the main working area. And so there are certain kinds of things that it's useful to have living in the library, like uh, people or uh, project names of things that uh, things that you don't necessarily want the original to be in your main workspace, just in case you might accidentally delete something and then you've accidentally deleted the original version of a project or a person's name. Now, those Tana is really good at, at trash uh, collection. So other places where that's referenced, it would still exist. It would just have the little trash icon next to it. You've probably encountered that. You can click it. But there are certain benefits to having those kinds of things actually living in the library. So when I create a new person, for instance, <laughs> within my Tondograph, I don't. I only have three children that that uh, my wife and I have created. I don't mean that kind of creation. Um, but the uh, within your Tondo workspace, um, I put new people's names in the library. Uh, there's actually a side reason for that that has to do with Tana paste that's well beyond the scope of this. But it also makes it so that they're safely saved over there. And any time I would be working with them in the main workspace, it would be with a reference. But you can move things uh, there to the library. And then the inbox is where the Tana Capture app, which is now available both on iPhone and Android, um, will send items. Uh, you can also put things there uh, in the when you're working on a computer. But that's what that space is. And you'll only see that, as I mentioned, if you're in your primary workspace. So if I were in, if I were to go to my primary workspace is uh, my RJ Nestor one. So if I say move and leave reference to, and I go to RJ Nestor, you'll see I have today created date home library and inbox. Okay. So that's a, that's a, uh, an example of how these works. You can use a command called set move target uh, that will set the current node as a user defined target for move to commands. So I could say um, new move target, and then I could use the set move target command. So notice I typed the word set, that brought me here. I sometimes move a little quick. I typed the word set, that's what narrowed this down, and move target was the second one here, move target. It's been added as a new move target. It's in this clean, uh, whatever I call this workspace, clean workspace for TJS demos, that's Tana Jumpstart, um, which is the, 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 uh, uh, course, I guess you'd say, workshop uh, that I that I explain a lot of these things in and, and help you learn how to do them, not just by me talking to them, but walking you through, letting you do the exercises yourself. But now that I have that, I could take this uh, 
uh, you know, node here, let's say move our pre-configured move targets to here. I'll say move and leave reference. You see it there. We'll remember we're going to be in our clean workspace for TGS demos. And now if we scroll down here, we'll see new move target now exists as a move target. I'll hit enter. And you can see this now became a reference because I move and leave reference to is the command I used. So that has the little dotted line around it. And down here is now where the original node of that lives. So because I've uh, uh, defined that move target, that's how that works. I today created a home library. These would all work the same way. And in fact, let me just show you this one. I'll move and leave reference for the sake of it. So it stays here. Move and leave reference to uh, the library. You can see as soon as I did that, that became a dashed line. And if we were to click on that node, we would see it is actually, you can see the upline here in the breadcrumbs. It is in the library. So it's actually living inside the library now for that. So just that's how you can make that work. So you can set a new move target for yourself. Uh, you can move nodes and they'll disappear from here. I'll do that once just so you see it happen. And then I'll undo it because I want to bring this back. But if I say today, um, if I want to move that node to today's node, but not leave a reference. I'm not going to choose move and leave reference. I want to choose move to clean workspace for this and say move to today. It's just going to disappear from here. It's gone. It doesn't exist here anymore. Uh, but if I were to go up to today's page node, here it is. It's existing on today's page. It's just not uh, anymore living here. But I will undo that now so that it comes back. Undo command K or control K just like it is in anything else good keyboard shortcut to keep track of. Okay, so now, having done this here, I want to show one more command that I think is particularly useful. And that is one called bring referenced node here. I showed before that when you're on an original node, like for instance, right now you see this is not the dashed line version of this that we just moved, but rather the original. This is the reference up here. If I were to be on an original node, and I would use command K and start typing bring, the context doesn't exist. This is an original node. It's not a reference node. So there's nothing to bring here. What bring reference node does is when you're working with a reference, when your cursor is inside a reference node, this command will swap that node to be the original and leave a reference where the original was. So just for clarity, this is a reference. You see the dashed line. This is the original. You see there's no dashed line. From here, if I now I'm working in this node, my cursor is here in this node. If I were to hit Command K and start typing bring, now you see that is an available command. And when I click it, I want you to have a node over here. This has the dashed line right now, and this doesn't. When I click this, or hit enter, which is what I would actually do, but for the sake of it, since I have my hand on the mouse now, this one will become the original. There'll be no dash, and this one will have the dash. Bring reference node here, bam, no dotted line, Here's the dashed line now, okay? So now this is the original, and this is the reference. And we could do it again and swap them back. And now this is the original, and this is the reference. Do it again just to move it around. This is the original. This is the reference. Actually use this a fair amount. I won't go into, the, into depth <laughs> with this, but when I'm creating my calendar for the next day, um, and and I, I, I have a way of doing that that just kind of lets me drag events onto the, the day. Um, and although I'm working with a calendar view, when I create a new event on a calendar, the node is actually living on my current today, even though the, the, the scheduled time, which is what's affecting the calendar, um, is for tomorrow. Every so often, I'll have within one of those events some, uh, some field or something that is based on the day node it's living on. Well, the node actually is living on today rather than tomorrow. And sometimes I'll have that node will be referencing today. And so when I get to tomorrow, if I'm once I'm working through my agenda for the day, if I have that meeting and it has that, I'll, I'll use bring reference node real quick here, excuse me, to make it so now the original lives on the current day. And then any fields that might be based on that will be uh, updated. So it, it's not that you may run into that particular thing, but being able to swap what's a reference versus what's an original can be a useful 
the tool. Now, you saw there were tons and tons and tons and tons of commands, and I talked about four. Move, move to, move and leave reference to, um, set move target, and bring reference node here. I've talked about convert to search node. In another video, there's also convert to command because you there aren't just built-in commands. You can create commands too. Again, well beyond the scope of this particular video, um, you can uh, you can convert uh, to uh, various other types of things. You can set view options. I uh, my general rule is this: when I can't remember how to do something in Tana, I hit Command K and look for the command. Now, of course, you can always use the search or not search, but help area. If you come down here, you can click here, and help is the little question mark. The Help Center has some great documentation. But as with all things, particularly with early accesses, and this is no knock on the wonderful folk at Tana, the documentation occasionally lags a little bit um, to the from the implementation because things are changing fast, they're doing things, and so sometimes it's a little harder actually to find it in the documentation. Here, just hit Command-K and start looking for a command. More likely than not, what you're looking for is there. And you'll find it. I, I mentioned earlier, in my experience, the more comfortable people get with the way they use Tana, the less they'll directly interact with the command line. Because you know shortcuts, you've built yourself systems that show them what you need to see, they'll show you what you need to see because you have um, dashboards and searches and so forth, and you know where they are. But still, the command line is where I go if I'm not sure where else to go. If I've forgotten something, I don't know, Command K, start searching, I'm likely to find that there. And so I encourage you uh, to explore the command line in some different contexts because only certain things will show up depending on context. Try it when you're on an original node. Try it when you're on a reference node. Try it when you're in a search node. Try it when you're not clicked on anything at all. Uh, try it to see the various things. Try it at the beginning, the, on the top, like the title of a workspace node. Uh, from there, you can set up a day node uh, process, again, outside the scope of this video. But if you're starting, if you've created a new workspace and it doesn't yet have a calendar in it, you can go to that and, and, and set up a, set up your various day tags that you need and just with just one command. But that's only going to show up if you're on the appropriate, like the title of the workspace. So experiment with different contexts for looking at the command line and, and look and see what's there. Explore those options. You'll get a sense of what's possible. I'm not going to do any of the, uh, the set exercises. These exercises are for the Tana Jumpstart um, workshops that I do um, because I don't, while I am perfectly happy listening to myself talk, uh, the value that you all get is when you actually do it for yourselves. And those workshops are an opportunity for you to do the work and I'm there um, guiding you and making sure that you, if you have any questions or, or you know, kind of cleaning up your work uh, so you understand how to do it perfectly. But the I, I won't do it now because I really showed you all of the things that would be in the exercises in the rest of the video here. So I hope that's helpful. Use that command line when you don't know how else to do something. Use it for moving things around, leaving references, bringing references, uh, swapping the reference with the original, um, that kind of stuff, uh, converting nodes to other kinds of nodes. Those are some of the key ways that the uh, command line can make your use of Tana uh, much more fluid. And I hope that this is helpful in doing just that. If that was helpful and you'd like to learn more Tana basics and more next level Tana skills, consider joining my upcoming Tana Jumpstart. I do these every month or two, uh, and I'd love to have you join the next one. We focus on fundamentals. Uh, we drill them. It isn't just me lecturing. Uh, then we look at uh, the next level skills, how some of those basics fit together and how they augment one another and how you can use those. Again, we'll drill that. Uh, we'll talk about common uh, Tana challenges and some ways to overcome them. And then we'll look at your specific needs and how we can tune Tana to you, those needs. It is seven hours in one weekend. It is a jump start. Um, you invest that time in the weekend four sessions, uh, and we will then uh, have you hit the ground running uh, when you go back into your Tana workspace uh, that Monday. So if you're interested in that, if that's something to be useful for you, the link is here. Um, there's a little bit more information on the page where that link is. I'd love to have you join that next Tana Jump Start.